everybody. Welcome to the Dhamakedar for Ratedar and Mandar session by Vedantu Young Mandars. My name is Kutesh. I'm your host, your host, and a proud master teacher from Vedantu. Welcoming you to your grade 7 chapter, Respiration in Organisms, where today we'll be understanding the basics of the human respiration uh, a little deeper and we'll also be understanding respiration in other organisms than humans. So very warm welcome. I hope you guys are doing absolutely safe and sound and so are everyone around you. So let us quickly begin the learning. So uh, they say that it always seems impossible until it is done. So, you know, they say that try, try, but don't try. So anything in this world seems impossible until you try it. So at least give it a try, push yourself. You know, nothing is impossible in this world. If a person who used to sell tea on the railway station can become the prime minister of the largest democracy in the world, a tribal woman born in the, uh, you know, in a small village of Orisha can become the 15th president of the largest democracy in the world. If, uh, you know, human can today reach the Mars, if human can reach the moon, then nothing is impossible on this planet. Just give it a try, dream higher, dream bigger, try harder and success will be yours. So with that guys, this is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on my Instagram handle that is Kutesh underscore Vedantu, where we can connect together and we can grow this bond a little stronger. Apart from that guys, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We are very, 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 very close to reaching the golden mark. That is 6 lakh subscribers of India's leading junior channel that is Vedanta Young Wonders and you will be super proud to be a part of it. So subscribe to the channel and do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp groups. Now, uh, before we move ahead, let me tell you that if you want to learn from me, Nabagata Man Mohan sir and all your favorite teachers of Vedanta, English, Math, Science at just rupees 20 per day, then all you need to do is, you just need to go in the description of this particular video. So when you go on the description, you will land on this page. In the description box, just click over here, you know, just click over here that is Pro Class 7 CBSC 2223. You can just click on this link and when you click on this particular link, you will land over here. Let me just show you. Yeah. So you will land on this page. When you land on this page, you can see that a new batch for grade 7 has started on the 25th of July. That is last Monday, right? And in this batch, you're getting, uh, you know, live doubt solving, quizzes and leaderboard, Vedanta improvement, promise, assignments and class notes, all India test series and study material for math, English and science. Now for the entire year, for one entire year of your grade 7, you can learn math, English and science. And that too, I'll tell you for what cost, you'll be surprised. The cost is, the cost is just rupees 8,100 for the entire year. Now you can buy it for rupees 8,100 for the entire year. Or you can also take a trial of 15 days for just rupees 450. You'll say, but sir, you have to 500 likh hai. That's the trick. So what you need to do is, you have to just click on try for rupees 500 if you want to take the trial. And you'll see that you are ending up paying only rupees 450. See, you got rupees 50 as a discount because you use the coupon code PJPRO. So once you apply PJPRO, you just pay rupees 450 for 15 days. So now you can take a trial of 15 days, learn for 15 days with Vedatu and then decide how you want to go about it. This is a golden opportunity that you're getting to learn, grow and evolve with Vedatu. So do try it out. So now when we talk about respiration in humans, when we breathe in, when we inhale, we take in oxygen, the lungs expand and the diaphragm moves down. Similarly, when you exhale, the lungs squeeze and the diaphragm moves up. Breathing rate is the number of times a person breathes in a minute, right? Which is 10 to 15 per minute for an adult at the resting stage. Normal respiration rates for an adult person at rest from 12 to 16 breaths per minute. So in one minute, an adult breathes for 12 to 16 times in a minute at resting stage when the adult is resting. That doesn't mean, not this, it is resting stage. Now, when you are inhaling, so the inhaled air contains 78% of uh, composition of inhaled air is 78% nitrogen, 0.04% of 0.04% uh, uh, is other gases, 0.96% uh, uh, of uh, 
I think carbon dioxide and 21% of oxygen. But when you are exhaling, uh, when you are exhaling, the carbon dioxide is 5.04% and you are also giving out oxygen 16%, which means out of the total uh, breath that you took in, only 5% oxygen is absorbed by your, uh, you know, by your body. So out of all the oxygen that you breathe in, only 5% is absorbed. Now, the average total lung capacity of an adult is 6 liters of air. So an adult can take in 6 liters of air. Uh, that is the average lung capacity. Respiration in other organisms like cockroaches, frogs, earthworms. So when I talk about insects like grasshoppers and cockroaches, they have got openings on the sides of the body called spiracles which end into the trachea. So what they do is the air goes through these holes. They don't have a nose. They have holes on the sides of the entire body called spiracles. The air goes through those spiracles. It enters the trachea. The exchange happens and the air is again sent out to the same spiracles. Cockroaches have small openings called spiracles on the sides. They have an air tube-like structure called the trachea that allows the exchange. Air from the cell enters the trachea and moves out to the spiracles. So it's spiracles, trachea, body, trachea, spiracles. So that is a very, very simple form of respiration in insects. When I talk about earthworms, so earthworm can exchange gases directly through their skin. Okay, so they take in oxygen through the skin, they give out carbon dioxide through the skin. Same is with frogs. When the frogs are in water, they uh, respire with the help of the skin. But when they are on the ground, they uh, respire with the help of the lungs. So frogs can respire both through the lungs as well as the skin. And because their skin is also something that can respire, pollution is affecting frogs because their skin can absorb the pollutants from the air. Earthworms have a soft, slimy, uh, slimy and moist skin. The gases can easily pass in and out of the earthworm through its skin. Right. So uh, human beings have nostrils, the insects have spiracles and earthworm respires through the skin. Frogs also have a slippery and moist skin and they, that helps in breathing. However, frogs have lungs too. Now you'll be surprised to know that when the frog is in a tadpole state, when the frog is a baby, it has got gills just like a fish. It has got gills. But when the frog undergoes metamorphosis, when it grows into an adult, the gills are transformed into lungs that is called metamorphosis so there's a difference between growth and metamorphosis metamorphosis is the complete transformation of a larva into an adult by undergoing drastic changes during the life cycle when i talk about fish so fish have got special organs called the gills they uh, take in the water through the mouth which passes over the gills oxygen is absorbed and the carbon dioxide is given out so we spoke about organisms like humans which have got lungs and nostrils, uh, insects which have got spiracles and trachea, earthworms, skin, frogs, skin and lungs, and fish, gills. So these are different types of organisms and the different ways in which they respire. We also spoke about breathing, that is inhalation and exhalation. When we inhale air, we have got 21% oxygen, but when we exhale air, we have still got 16% oxygen in the exhaled air, which means we are absorbing only 5% of the oxygen that we take in. And you also know then what happens to the oxygen. Uh, the oxygen that we take in goes through our lungs, through the alveoli, from alveoli to the blood. The blood gives carbon dioxide, which comes into the alveoli, lungs, and we exhale. Right? So when I talk about gills, animals that live under water have special respiratory organs called the gills. They are like a comb and they exchange the gases between the animals and the water easily. Now, uh, there can be a question that can be asked in the exam that why fish breathe so fast? It is because the oxygen content in the water, water is very, very less and they have to do so many activities. So they breathe very fast so that they, they can take in more and more oxygen, right? For example, if I give you a simple activity where there is a, uh, where there is a tub full of balls, okay? There's a tub full of green color balls. And there are only five yellow balls in the entire tub. And I tell you that you find them. What you will do, and I give you like only 30 seconds to find all the five balls. What you'll do, you'll just quickly start throwing the green balls and just catch hold of the yellow ones. Right? Similarly, there is very less oxygen dissolved in water. And the fish has to take in a lot of oxygen. So they breathe very fast so that they can take in more and more oxygen. And that is why the breathing rate of aquatic animals is more than the terrestrial animals.
Here we also have an exception when I talk about gills, dolphins and whales. So dolphins and whales, they do not have gills. Rather, they have something called as a blowhole or a nostril, which is just like human nostrils. So what they do is they come to the surface of the water, they take oxygen from the air and then they go down back into the water. So dolphins and whales, they do not have gills, but rather they have blowholes or nostrils. This can be asked as a question in the exam or even you can tell this in your class that <clears throat> out of all the aquatic animals, there are dolphins and whales who do not have gills, but rather they have a blowhole or a nostril, right? So they take in oxygen from the air. In your human body also, there is one organ which takes oxygen directly from the air, which doesn't have any blood supply. And that is the cornea. The cornea, which is the outermost transparent layer of your eyes, it takes oxygen directly from the air and not from the blood. So animals that live under water have gills, they are comb-like structures, etc. etc. Talking about plants, so plants also respire. This we saw in the previous session when I told you that in the daytime plants undergo photosynthesis plus respiration, but in the night they undergo only respiration. So they take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide at all 24 hours and that happens to the stomata. The leaves of the plants have stomata which are special tiny pores present on the undersurface of the leaf. They help in the exchange of gases. Okay, so that is it. Now once again let me tell you that if you want to learn in detail with me, Nabamata ma'am, Mohan sir, Hari Priya ma'am, Sana ma'am, Amit sir, with all your most favorite teachers of Vedanta for just only 20 per day, then all you need to do is just go in the description of this video. When you go in the description, you will find the link for grade 7. When you go on that link, you, have, you just have to put the coupon code PJPRO and you get a flat 10% off. So by putting that code, you will end up paying either if you want to buy for the entire year, the cost is rupees 8,100 after discount. It is actually 9,000. But when you use the coupon code PJPRO, it becomes 8,100. But you can also take a trial for 15 days by just paying rupees 450. Apart from that, if you have any doubts on how does this work, what is the Vedantu AI live, then all you can do is you just send the hi on the WhatsApp number that is scrolling below which is also written over here, that is 89511 You just send a high on that number. The team will help you. They will guide you. They will help you in the entire process and you will be sorted, right? So if you have any doubts, you know where to go. That's the WhatsApp number. The team will connect with you. So just send a high on that number. They'll help you with the coupon code, with the discounts, with when is the batch starting, how much you learn, where you learn, everything they'll help you, right? So just send a high on that WhatsApp number and that's it. With that guys, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp groups and remember, we are very, 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 very close to touching the golden mark of 6 lakh subscribers. So let us make India's leading junior channel a family of 6 lakh young wonders, right? So do subscribe, it's absolutely free. Take care of yourself, thank you so much for watching, God bless all of you, lots of love, bye.